The International Space Station is trying to keep it cool with what may now amount to three spacewalks on your space pod for Monday, August 9th, 2010. The first spacewalk to repair the ammonia coolant pump failed, putting a possible third unplanned spacewalk on the schedule. This is all part of the continued trouble on the ISS. Overly dramatic open aside, here's what's really going on. The ISS needs to dissipate heat. Now, while you may think it's really cold in space, and by the way it is, the equipment on the ISS can get quite hot. To show you how much, let's try this fun experiment. Turn on your computer and start playing a game. Something awesome like StarCraft II. After about an hour or so, put your hand behind the computer and feel how warm, or in some cases hot, the air coming out of the back is. Now multiply that by 10 or 100 and you have the heat generated by just some of the equipment on the ISS. Now unlike here on Earth, you can't just blow the hot air outside or at least out of your room. If they did that in space, they'd suffocate. So instead, a method to transfer the heat to something else is required and that's where the ammonia lines that run all through the International Space Station come in. These ammonia lines are used to collect heat, move it away, and reject it via a couple of built-in radiators on the station's truss. Think of the ISS as a giant water-cooled gaming PC, only there's no real-time battle.net and the connection lag is insane. Now, to ensure that the mass chaos does not erupt if the coolant system ever does go down, it's separated into two parts, loop A and loop B. Clever naming, I know. At around 0 universal time on August 1, 2010, the Loop A pump was knocked out with what NASA engineers suspect was a power surge. The ammonia cooling system is in two parts, one partly inside the ISS and the other partly outside. The pump they need to replace is outside, which required, at the time, two different spacewalks. That was until the spacewalk that happened on Saturday lasted over eight hours and was not a success. NASA astronauts Douglas Wheelock and Tracy Caldwell Dyson had attempted to remove and replace the broken pump on their EVA or spacewalk this last Saturday, but they were plagued with setbacks. There was a stuck ammonia hose and a bit later on the ammonia leak, which by the way is not a good thing. That resulted in the pump not being replaced. This was only the first of the two planned spacewalks to get the pumps working again. But since it didn't quite go as well as planned, NASA believes that a third spacewalk will now be required. So uh, just to describe a little bit about uh, what happened and what went wrong, um, this is a one and a half inch quick disconnect. This is similar to the uh, three of the four quick disconnects the crew was uh, interacting with today. The other two of this size uh, demated without much problem at all. Um, these are known to be somewhat tricky sometimes, um, and I'll show some motion of this. Basically, this is going towards the valve closed position, and what can happen, uh, with the first time we came to the closed position, we saw a little bit of a leak, um, and the troubleshooting for that, because we don't want to demate this and have a leak going uh, constantly if it's from the female side. Um, so the, the troubleshooting that we had in place was to reopen the valve to try to cycle the seals on, on both sides of the quick disconnect, both the male and the female. The male I don't have with me here today. Uh, when we did that, we got the valve back to the full open position. You can see this detent button here pops up to hold it all locked in place. Um, there are two seals inside of this quick disconnect, a primary and a secondary seal. Uh, we know that one of those seals leaks a little faster than the other. And when they build up, uh, if they if they leak too much ammonia in between those two seals, you can get a hydraulic lockup in here, which basically puts a lot of force in the backward direction on this bail handle, which keeps you from being able to push this button down. It preloads this button, uh, so then you cannot reopen the valve or reclose the valve. So. Um, that is the condition we got in today. Now, loop B is still operational. However, it can only dissipate heat where its ammonia lines pass. So not all of the instrumentation and equipment on the space station is being cooled. This means that some equipment has to be shut down until loop A can be repaired. Now, hopefully that will happen sooner rather than later. The next planned EVA or spacewalk is set for this Wednesday, but may be delayed as NASA engineers try and figure out exactly what they want to do next. Now, if you'd like to discuss this further, feel free to add a comment right here on SpaceVidCast.com or right on our YouTube channel. Or better yet, join us at the next Space Unconference.